This is the 11th video for the animal chiropractic class uh, for the ethics and legal considerations portion of that class. Uh, now this topic is unique to Texas. You may find similar statutes in other states, but this statute gives some protection from liability uh, in connection with farm animal activities or livestock shows. The first requirement is that there must be a warning notice that spells out this language from the statute uh, that basically says that if somebody, a farm animal professional, is not liable for injury or death to a participant uh, resulting from farm animal activities resulting from the inherent risk of farm animal activities. Um, that warning notice can either be posted or can be in written contracts with the clients or people involved. Uh, my recommendation, if you are practicing in Texas, is that you put it in both places so that you, you give yourself the maximum amount of uh, protection. Um, farm animal activities does include assisting in medical treatment. So if the client or an employee or an associate of the client is assisting in the medical treatment, they're engaged in a farm animal activity. Some of the inherent risk that you're protected from include the propensity of the animal to behave in ways that may cause damage, injury, or death, or unpredictable unpredictability of the animal's reaction, or the potential that the participant may act carelessly and contribute to their own injury. For example, failing to maintain control over an animal. Now, this applies only to farm animal activities and livestock shows. It's not going to apply to uh, uh, dogs and cats uh, or treatment in a, uh, uh, in a veterinary clinic. It also is going to protect you only if a participant is injured. It's not going to provide any protection as a if a spectator or someone other than a participant is injured. It's also not going to protect you from liability if the injury is caused by uh, faulty equipment or tack or failure to make a reasonable and prudent effort to decide whether the participant has the ability to, for example, control the animal. Uh, will not apply if, there's, if the injury is caused by a dangerous, latent condition of the land or if the professional acts with willful or wanton disregard for safety or intentional acts. And here's the big exception, it does not apply for uh, Texas Racing Commission events. So if you're dealing with uh, racehorses, uh, this disclaimer of liability is not going to be helpful to you. So that's kind of a quick point of, of, you know, there are some helpful statutes like this out there that can help protect you from some liabilities, but it only provides you protection if you make the effort to find this statute and if you make the effort to post the notice that's required, either in contracts or to post it, uh, uh, post a sign to that effect. Uh, if you fail to do that, even though this statute is there, it will not provide you with any protection. 